In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about using the Helium 10 Chrome extension to run your Amazon FBA business. What's going on everyone? My name's Scott and I'm an Amazon seller and coach. And if you like videos on how to run an Amazon FBA business, then be sure to subscribe and push notification bell so you're the first to know when I post a new video. If you're not familiar with the Helium 10 Chrome extension, it's like an application within your browser to help you analyze data about Amazon products. Let's hop to my computer here and I'll show you how you can get it and use it. So if you go to the link in the description, there's gonna be a link to a page that will bring you here. Just click on this download now button and install the Chrome extension with the prompts on the screen. Then you have this icon right here in your browser. Then when you go to an Amazon search page, you'll notice that there is new data shown on the screen that wasn't there before. You'll see the ranking in the parent category, the ranking in the subcategories. You'll see the products ASIN, and you'll see who it's sold by. So this product sold by Amazon, whereas this one is sold via an FBA seller. This can help you a lot when doing product research because you can look at a search page and quickly see important data to see how popular a particular category is. But we're only scratching the surface here. Let's get into the various tools of the Helium 10 Chrome extension to see just how powerful it is. First, we're going to use X-Ray. So if you go up to the Helium 10 Chrome extension here and click on X-Ray, it will bring up important information about the products on this search page. As you can see, it pulls in the number of searches per month, the total revenue of the top sellers, the average revenue per seller, and some other key metrics about these top sellers. You can then go into details for each of these products to see what their price is, how many sales they have per month. You can see the sales graph that shows the sales trends over the last 30, 90 days, one year or all time of the product on Amazon. What's great is you can come in and you can see exactly how many reviews each of the top products has so you know how competitive a market is. You can also get a sense for how much revenue these products are making by looking at the revenue column. And as you can see, this top one is making over $230,000 a month. Now you may be asking what the success score is in the top right corner. Well, this is a proprietary score that Helium 10 gives to a particular keywords to identify whether or not you should get into it. But you'll probably most likely find that almost every keyword you search for is gonna be between one and two stars. Finding a five star product is like finding a unicorn. You're never gonna do it. But Helium 10 has introduced an extra tool for this that can help you with your product research. If you go to the settings of the Helium 10 Chrome extension right here, you can go here and enable two-factor success score. Now what you can do is you can add your own criteria as to how you want to do your product research. For instance, let's say you were searching for products that had 5,000 revenue a month and a maximum of 75 reviews for that product. So let's hit save. Let's go back to Amazon. And when we run X-Ray again, we now see that the success score is gone and replaced by these two numbers. This tells us that six out of the 10 top products has at least 5,000 revenue a month, but only three of the top products have 75 reviews or less. So if these are the metrics that you're searching for to see whether or not a uh, market is competitive or it's oversaturated, you can use these metrics to quickly at a glance, see if the criteria that you want is met by these top products. The most recent addition to the X-Ray tool is the integration with Alibaba.com. Now I recently did a full video breaking down the different tools of this new integration. And so I'll leave a link to that video in the description, but quickly I'll go over them here. If you look on a search page in Amazon, you can click on find suppliers on Alibaba and it will pull in suppliers from Alibaba for the keyword you've been searching for. And you can then filter down these results by price, minimum order quantity, or even the vendor rating to find the supplier that is right for you. All right, I know I've thrown a lot of information at you already, but if you could do me a quick favor and drop a like on this video, it will help let this video be seen by more people like you and spread the word about these amazing tools. I'd really appreciate it. The next tool we're gonna to look at is the ASIN Grabber. Now, this tool may look very similar to X-Ray, and it kind of is, but what it does is it pulls high-level data for many more products on the keyword you're searching for. So let's say that you are looking for products around Halloween time. Now, Halloween's already happened, so it's too late to get into that market, but maybe next year, you wanna see which products are going to be good around that time of year. So you can come into ASIN Grabber, and it will pull in over a hundred of the top listings for a particular keyword, let's say you're looking for Halloween decorations, and you can quickly download this by clicking download to CSV, and it will you can save that spreadsheet for next year. Now, this is different from X-Ray because it doesn't give you as much detail, but it gives you far more products in one quick snapshot. 
The next tool we're going to look at is the profitability calculator. Now to run this tool, you need to be on an actual product page. You cannot do it from a search page. So once you go to a product page, you open up the tool and click on profitability calculator. And what this does is it pulls in information from the listing itself. It pulls in the dimensions, it pulls in the weight, and it calculates what size tier it's going to fall under. Cause this helps drive what the FBA fee is going to be for this product. It then pulls in the price and it estimates how much the manufacturing cost is going to be. This is generally a calculation based on the sale price because Helium 10 doesn't know what this person paid for the product. It then calculates the FBA fees, how much is going to be for the referral and the actual shipping fee. And then it tells you what your profit will be at the end of the day. So on this product, this person based on the estimate uh, is making about 40, 44% profit, which is excellent. And so this can help you identify whether or not the product you're looking at sourcing will be profitable before you spend a bunch of money trying to source it and send it to the Amazon warehouse. I forgot to mention, I'm running a contest on this channel. I'll be giving away a free coaching call every month. And the way to enter is to leave a comment on this video. Leave a comment below and I'll choose one lucky winner at the end of the month. The next tool I'm going to show you is the inventory levels tool. Now this tool can only be run on product pages as well. So what you do is go to a product page and open up inventory levels and it's going to calculate how many units this product has in stock for each of the sellers on this listing. The way it does this is by employing the 999 method. So what you do for this is you go to a product and you try to order 999 units and then it will come back and tell you, sorry, we don't have that many units. You can only order 25 because it tells you that's how many are in stock. So as you can see here for everything kitchens, there's only 25 in stock for this seller. Now there's one thing where this comes in the, to play where there's a, a bit of a snag. So you see amazon.com here, the seller has set a maximum quantity. So if you try to order 999, it's going to come back and say, you can only order five because that's how many the limit is set to. So you can't actually tell with this uh, in, in this instance, but Generally speaking, this can be a helpful tool if you're trying to gauge your competition and see how many units they order, how many they have in stock, whether or not they're going out of stock soon. And this can help you capitalize on openings in the market to make sure that you can jump in when the time is right. Okay, and the last tool in the Helium 10 Chrome extension is the Review Insights. Now what this does is it can help you quickly at a glance review the reviews of a product. So for instance, if we just extract the reviews as is, it's gonna pull in all the reviews for this product and it pulls them all into this page. So first thing you can do is you can sort through the different, you can look through the different reviews is in five star, four star, and you know, you could read through them. But what you can do is go to review analysis. And this is where it gets really cool. It identifies different keywords within the reviews and shows you them, uh, that counts them up and shows you the reviews for those particular keywords. So pizza cutter, it's not a surprise that for a pizza cutter product, a pizza cutter shows up a lot, but look at this easy to clean 22 reviews that had five stars or roughly five stars, 4.9, 22 of them said that it was easy to clean. Now that could be very important because maybe you want to work that into your listing. Um, very well in the dishwasher. So if this is dishwasher safe, then that's, likely that this is going to be a, a good feature for your products as well. You can use this review analysis insights to work these keywords into your product and you can make sure that your product has these same features because clearly it's working for this seller. If you want to try the Helium 10 Chrome extension today, you can do so for absolutely free. Just click on the link in the description and sign up for your free Helium 10 account and then download the Chrome extension. If you want to try more of the Helium 10 tools, be sure to use the code SCOTT50 at the Helium 10 checkout page and save 50% off your first month. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.